Greetings, Commanders, and uh, welcome to uh, Horizon CQC Night Bruce. We've got a nice uh, nice bit of Horizons lined up for you all this evening. Hope everyone's doing well. How are you doing today, Bruce? Yeah, I'm doing really well, mate. Thank you for having me on. Always a pleasure to play some CQC with yourself and uh, anyone from the chat who joins us. Yeah, don't worry, chat. Bruce is just messing with his camera as he always does. He'll be back. Yeah, he's back. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> it's fine. How, who have we got in chat? We've got Ben07. Uh, Steve Ross says, oh, look, it's the twins. I'm not sure about that. I mean... Well, I'm not sure about that either, but people do constantly get us mixed up on <laughs> That's screen. true, actually. No, that no. is true. <laughs> Who else have we got? We've got the birds, 07. JM Track, 07. Lord Rack. Hello, hello. Quite a few people in, actually. Yeah, so um, today we are going to just you know, chill out. It's Thursday night. We're going to chill out. We're going to play some uh, Horizon CQC. Um, so basically, you will need to, if you want to join us, you will need to load up in Horizons mode if you do have Odyssey. Um, we're pretty much ready and waiting to go. But I guess, um, what kind of CQC? Now, that is the question, Sleepy Commander. We've not decided yet. Maybe chat can decide what mode we're going to play. Um, only way to tell them apart is that Bruce has the white headphones on. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, well done. It does Odyssey have CQC? It does, yes. But the idea basically was, before Odyssey came out, we we obviously know that not every commander is upgraded to Odyssey. Um, and so we wanted to, you know, make sure there's there's room in our schedule for some Horizon stuff, which is going to include not just CQC, but um, at the minute, it's, we like we like to dip into a bit. We're undefeated CQC uh, champions. So every time that we do these streams, it's basically a... Um, putting down the gauntlet to see if anyone can defeat me and Bruce. Um, especially in Capture the Flag. That's our that's our trademark mode at this point. Yeah, sorry, I was just adjusting some settings. Um, nice. I see some friends in the chat. I say friends, I mean, from 100 Fathoms, they say actually kind of the opposite. Hello, my nemesis. Um, <laughs> that's Hatake Kakashi. That's a name I recognize. I recognize from, that name. <laughs> from various planet surfaces and uh, <laughs> other places. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Uh, evening, Orange Spark. Evening. I was joining CQC, but I'm rubbish. I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't say me and Bruce are spectacular at, at CQC. So oh. I wouldn't worry too much about it if you do want to join in. Well, you say that. We did clean house the other week. True. So I'm and kind of hoping that we'll get knocked off the throne this week. Let's play Team Deathmatch. I'd like to kill some CMs. I mean, always an option, I guess. <laughs> Lots of 07, 07, 07. All right, should we move over to the game then? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Drinky Bird has never played CQC. Might give it a go. We would 100% encourage you to do that. It's a really fun game mode. Right. I'm going to send you an invite, Bruce, if I'm not already. Okay, allow me to accept. The Big Boo 5 says, all oh, 7, Zach and Bruce, always good to join you. Yeah, feel free. We'll tell you when we're about to count down. People are not happy that I said we were spectac spectacular. I didn't say that, I said we're not spectacular. Watch Neve has avoided CQC because they don't enjoy sort of PvP in general. Um, fair enough, although it's, it's very different to PvP in the live game um, for various reasons. Obviously, there's no, it's not a sort of a rebuy situation. Yeah. It's um, mm -hmm. it's an arena mode where you just respawn. So it's, uh, it's very good for touching up on your combat skills, and those are going to be useful for PvE as well. So, yeah. Uh, Commander Adam says, any news? So, no news on today's stream that will be saved for Tuesday, but I guess we can mention, Bruce, um, a couple of, you know, small updates that, that went in, I believe, since Tuesday. Um, or was was the first one on Tuesday? It's this week, right? I can't remember the specific date. I think it was Tuesday as well. Yeah, uh, Tuesday I... or Wednesday, for sure. Like, every day just merges into one. <laughs> but, yeah, um, a couple of small updates went out the... Um, the first one was to do with weapon engineer recipes, right, Bruce? Yes, that's right. Um, is there? I guess we just there's something to do with tweaking the recipes, right? I don't. I don't yeah, know. Yes, so that one was. This went out um, yesterday afternoon. So um, 
essentially some of the engineering recipes in Odyssey um, included ingredients that we decided actually probably shouldn't be there. Um, so we took them off is, is the TLDR <laughs> of it. Uh, check out the forums. I think the post, if it's not still sticky, it should be somewhere near the top in the, uh, the new section on the forums. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to retroactively reimburse anyone, but what it does mean is moving forward, so anyone who wants to upgrade or make modifications to their weapons um, won't need to have quite so many materials. Yep, um, and the other hotfix that went out um, was basically to fix the uh, the tracking for delivering to a a new commodity market or a black market. So basically, you will need that to unlock some engineers. Uh, that wasn't tracking properly. That should now be fixed. But again, that's not retroactive. So you will um, have to. It's basically counting from now on um, how many new uh, markets that you go to. Yeah, those are. The fixes. We've got some exclamation point Bruce's in the chat. Again, doesn't do anything at the minute, but I always like to see. <laughs> okay, Cody Surprise says, why don't you actually play the game? Okay, Cody, um, what mode should we play, chat? Let's know. I mean, I always venture towards capture the flag personally, but... Standard deathmatch. Capture the flag. Hmm. Flag, capture the flag. Capture the CTF, flag, please. CTF. It's coming in, CTF's coming. I'm afraid they've overruled. We're going to have to go with CTF. <laughs> Yeah, I don't mind. I mean, maybe we do a couple games of CTF and yeah, then some TDM later. Um, yeah, I, I feel a lot more comfortable in CTF True. Um, because True. my dogfighting skills aren't quite as good as I don't know my right. But picking up a flag and running away skills exactly. So. We can put our like <laughs> fundamental skills to use in in CTF, whereas in team deathmatch we're pretty much reliant on our dogfighting skills. Okay, so let's play capture the flag to start with. Um, if you are wanting to join, get ready to search with us. I'm about to press the button. Um, I saw someone in chat asking if there's going to be any news today. Um, no new news on this stream. We're just playing some CQC tonight. Uh, do tune into the Super Cruise news on Tuesdays, though, um, for game and community news. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, yeah, there's some stuff on the forums that we just covered. Obviously, a couple updates went out recently. Um, also, we did a post on the Azimuth Saga. So for anyone who's not been involved in the uh, interactive storyline that's uh, ongoing, um, and you want to get involved, I would recommend you check out that forum post, scan through it, and you'll be caught up on all of the events so far. Um, there's some more stuff happening with that very soon. Actually, I think the next um, relevant Galnet article is actually coming out tomorrow. Nice bit of a scoop for you there, chat. Bruce has dropped you a nice, uh, nice Galnet scoop. Right, let's get, let's, let's, let's get searching. I'm going to count down. Three, two, one. I'm searching. Ackman says news is they're working on it. I mean, uh, you may be trying to joke, Ackman, but that is pretty much the news at the minute. We are working on it. As soon as we have some specifics, we'll be letting you know. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Obviously, update six was mentioned in the statement from David recently. Um, obviously, that's going to be the next big thing. Uh, we can't talk about what's in it just yet, but as soon as we can, we'll let you know. Um, other than to say it should contain a bunch of fixes to improve the game obviously mm -hmm. we're in now we've got malik on our team is that the malik I'm, i don't know whether malik is malik vr or not if it is we're in very good hands and if it's not i'm sure we're in good hands regardless yeah, sure. so best of luck to everyone on the team and well to the enemies i suppose we don't need to be that generous. Okay, all right. <laughs> Eat dirt, scum. <laughs> all 
where I'm going straight in for the capture. Okay. Don't think anyone's stuck around for them to defend. You've got someone on you, but I'm trying my best. Looks good to me. Paphos has picked up the flag. That's a, a name I recognize. Yeah, got blown up. Couldn't quite make it back. Sorry. Well, that was a ludicrous decision. It's paid off. I'm in trouble. I have the flag, but I'm probably not going to last too much longer. Oh, Malik took someone off your tail. Nice. Okay, it's not terrible right now. But I'm I do to, need... I'm trying to block for you. I'm trying to stay on your six and cover. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Right next to the flag, but I'm in trouble. Ah, yeah. Uh, whose POV uh, is this? It's my POV. Am I going to get banned for asking if I'm going to get banned? No, you won't. The The only reason you'll be banned is if you uh, pretty much say something terrible about a, a human being, and then you'll be banned. Oh, did someone on our team score? It seems that way, because I, I guess I was really close. Maybe someone just followed it in, which is nice. I missed the, uh, missed the name, but well done, whoever did that. Gap is out. Okay, this could be a score. Wait, did we miss? Did we miss that? What happened? Nice, you got it. Yeah, sorry, I made a really bad turn and just caught, sort of got stuck right outside the uh, the gate. <laughs> I was under fire at the time. Actually, <laughs> I only got two percent hull left. So, well, we scored, mate. Uh, is it okay to say terrible things about a Fargoid? Yeah, no. Is my is my take? I'm not allowing it. Okay, this is fine. They scored, but this is fine. I was not looking where I was going. Fargoid feelings matter. It's true. Keep trying to be clever with my uh, my flying, Bruce, and it's it's embarrassing. Try spinning. That's a good trick. That's a good trick. Nice. Blew him right up, I did. Nice. Recovered. Looks like I'm being shot down, but I don't actually have anything on me, so this is fine. So, John says, are we just at the point where we're pretending honesty doesn't exist? No. So, um... As always, like I said at the start, we've planned for these Horizon streams to take place for the players, especially console players, 
Um, we obviously don't have access to Odyssey at the moment. Um, we don't just want to leave Odyssey behind. Um, and, you know, we want to make sure that we can still stream content that those players can enjoy. Oh, I'm on Elfener. Elfener is a uh, is always in these matches as well. I recognise that name. So I've seen a question in the chat. And I want to take a moment. I'm going to try and fly at the same time, <laughs> but I want to take a moment to address it in okay. quite a sincere way because um, I think it's an important topic that we don't really talk about a lot. So someone says that um, they watched a podcast recently um, where moderation of the forums was discussed um in particular people getting banned on the forums um now i know this is kind of a hot topic so there's a few things i want to say about it firstly um i have utter faith and, and trust and respect for our moderators um they do a lot of good work including on the streams like right now they're they're filtering um nasty comments they're they're supporting us and helping us all the time um even when the cm team are offline they're they're helping us um, so much, much respect and appreciation for them. When, when it comes to bans on the forums, um, you have to remember a couple of things. Firstly, anyone who has any action taken against them on the forums is going to be unhappy, regardless of how um, justified or legitimate the action is. Secondly, um, what I would say is, I think this is where a lot of the confusion and sort of upset arises, is if a player, or, or well, if, if any of you um, give some feedback, say on the forums, um, or on the streams or anywhere, even if the feedback is legitimate, personal attacks against staff or other players or anything like that, make your comment null and void. Um, it's this, you know, there's a way to deliver feedback that is respectful and fair, and you can be upset, you can be critical. We're not banning anyone for being critical in of itself. Um, we do constantly check when people send us an email saying, oh, we think this moderator has been a bit heavy handed or overstepped or, or been unfair in their application of the rules, then we check that. Um, but yeah, almost always it's simply the case that someone has overstepped or, um, sorry, a player has overstepped and said something or delivered their feedback in a way that's just frankly unacceptable. Um, so yeah, I understand that moderators have a bit of a, um, they get a hard rap. That's because they're doing a hard job. Yeah. Um, so that's my take on it. For the uh, for the person who asked. Well, you got quite far, mate. Commander JR, 1988. Uh, CQC is a great side game, but needs NPCs to alleviate matchmaking issues. Yeah, for sure. Two things that we know players really want in CQC are bots and private matchmaking. Um, yep. We haven't got any plans to speak of at the moment for um, revamping or updating CQC, but uh, we're, we're fully aware that those are basically the two top things people want. Um, they're the two th top things I think we want, honestly, as well as that, can't they? Um, yeah, for sure absolute game changers so i'm sure when it comes to improving cqc those will be very high on the list yeah red red bog says i'm hoping the new community calendar starts up friday night fights again cqc is fun but too few play players on it usually that's not a bad shout actually i know there's a you know cqc based discords and stuff um so basically i, I would recommend that once the calendar is live um that those discords and those communities book in um you know like a reoccurring maybe once or twice a week you could book in a, a CQC night um, as long as you give a lot of detail on where people can find you, how they get involved. Um, yeah, that's great. That's the exact use of the calendar when it when it goes live. That's what it should be for. Okay, we're one 0 down, Bruce. It's unusual for us. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's get our heads back in the game then. <laughs> 
It looks like they're about to sink another point. Yeah, okay. okay. Time to step it up for sure. Okay. Um, help Fender as our flag, which is good. Well, the flag is just. Uh, Zulu Romeo suggests CQC contributing to faction influence with tournament faction states to really boost influence changes. I like that idea a lot. Um, there's quite a few suggestions I've heard for CQC having a bigger impact um, in terms of rewards, especially on on the live game, and I'm all for suggestions like that. Yeah. Uh, Luminal Wind says the option to queue for CQC from the main game is a nice addition. Exactly. It's just stuff we're we're trying to. I don't know. To, we're trying to think of, of more ways to, um, you know, keep it integrated into the game, and make more players aware of, you know, how fun it actually is. I have, I literally look forward to these streams, where we where we you know chill out and just play some CQC. I enjoy it. Oh yeah, definitely. I think it might be because you get to you typically get to fly a lot of smaller ships in CQC. Whereas when I'm playing, you know, normal elite, I tend like I don't really use small ships very much, and you don't get as nimble of a, you know, like it doesn't control as nice as, as a small ship. I find that's why I enjoy it personally. I'd like to give a shout out to Psykit, who's just um, mentioned that there is a Discord uh, for CQC. So if you just Google Elite Dangerous CQC, um, you'll find it. That's for anyone who's looking for uh for groups to play with oh no we uh we should well, have we... paid more attention <laughs> mate we just got yeah. absolutely okay watched. that's that's one one let's play best of three and then we'll see if we can move on to a different mode all right did you see in a type nine look you know what i i kind of like the idea of sort of having special Special events like a a weekend where the Type Nine is available in CQ in CQC. <laughs> Just see the chaos that, that would ensue. I'm sure Dev probably don't agree with me, but Tori says uh, I'd love to see a CQC heavy edition where we can select from Killbacks, Type Nines, etc. Kind of a similar idea. I thought about calling it heavy edition. They just have large chassis. Um. But yes, I do like the idea of a uh, special, special selection of ships. If CQC was in live game, you could have commanders in their ships watching. They'd have to have some disabled weapons, etc., to not interrupt. Mm, I think I don't know about having the the actual ships in the instance of CQC, but I kind of like the idea of maybe being able to like tune in to uh, like a CQC game on a screen or something, I guess, in a station maybe or whatever. I think that would be nice. A nice little uh, immersion addition. Oh yeah, definitely agree. Basically, what me and Bruce are trying to say is that we actually have a lot of ideas for CQC <laughs> that we'd love to, we actually would love to implement. Uh, Gunnar Ali is asking for a rough guess on the date of the next patch. Um, unfortunately, I, I don't know if you have any in, more than me, Bruce, but I can't give anything in terms of when that might come at the minute. Um, no, I I have a rough idea in my head, but we're not uh, at a yeah. stage where we're ready to, to offer a, a set expected date yet. Sorry. They just they pop a uh this is big trouble. Uh 
Uh, Drinky Bird says, yay, I just lost my first CQC match. Congratulations. <laughs> but, um, best of luck in the next one. It does take a little bit of getting used to. I say that as if I'm used to it. I'm still not very good at CQC. But I do thoroughly enjoy it. External view of the ship. Mm. I'm not sure how I feel about that, personally. I actually think I prefer just having the cockpit only for you for the CQC, because then it becomes a bit of an issue with, like, balancing, I guess, of who can see, maybe someone can see where you are when you're in third-person mode, I guess. Mm. Red Borg suggests um, an SRV version of CQC. I really like this. <laughs> yeah, that would I can imagine a large arena with sort of curved walls that you could drive up. Right? Yeah, that'd be great. I, I don't. I don't want it to be too Rocket League. Obviously. Yeah, it has to be. We have to keep it within, <laughs> like, you know, but, uh, reali yeah. realism, I guess. But uh, yes, in principle, a neat idea. I, that beam just came out of nowhere and smacked me. Savvy Thunderdome. Is this some good flying from uh, Mr. Mo oh, it's Malik. It yeah, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really struggling <laughs> to stay on his tail. He's so ni uh, nimble. Got him. Got him. But yeah, boy, that took uh, that was some crazy flying. I say crazy. It was really good, sane, top uh, big brain flying. Uh, CQC buggies in a crater on a planet. I mean, that that's technically a way you could get around the sort of realism aspect, I guess, Bruce. Have it in a huge crater. That's cool. A nice idea. And you could have obstacles sort of from yeah. rock formations. Uh, no drops on today's stream, sorrowful. We shall let you know when they return. How are we going to recover this? It's right in an awkward spot. Maybe it's safer. Oh no, we need to recover it. Yeah, even if it's in a safer it. spot, we yeah, can't we score. We can't can score. We? Yeah. It's gotta be hard to fly in CQC while reading these comments. Well, that's what we like to say, Red Borg. Oh, it's incredibly difficult. <laughs> I mean, it does explain literally every death that occurs on our on our part. Yeah, definitely. One hundred fathoms suggests CQC in a large base on a planet. Also a cool idea. Nice. Maybe an abandoned settlement. Uh, who are we watching? We're watching my screen at the moment. Well, I didn't realise the tunnel had obstacles in. It does, yeah, it does. Oh wow, I could have scored there if I was not looking at chat. It's alright, if you loop back around I will Big cover good. you. Don't nice. think there's anyone on at the moment. Nice. nice. Just Nuts is brand new to Elite Dangerous. Looking forward to learning something from uh, us. You, I mean, you would expect to have come to the right stream uh, to learn, <laughs> <laughs> but you will, you will learn, you will, you learn some basics, right? But if you want to um, learn some, you know, true, true flying, I would, I would check out, for example, who's in this match, someone like Malik on Twitch. Uh, he's a true expert in in uh, piloting a, a spacecraft. Yeah, absolutely. We've got many wonderful content creators to watch. Um who are absolute experts at what they do. But uh, all the same, it's a pleasure to have you 
in the stream. Um, we hope you'll stick around. We uh, stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays tend to be where we deliver community and game news, and then on Thursdays uh, we tend to just sort of have a chat and a play. Lord Rack seventy seven asks if the planet in the background is Raxler. Um, I can confirm that it's not, but it does look pretty cool. <laughs> Oh no, we let them score back. No. It's okay. Never worried. Not a problem. We've got the we've got we've still got the lead, that's all that matters. You've got it, you've got it. Oh, that's going to pick up the stealth. This should be an easy score. Should I get the shields as well and just be... Yeah, double double whammy it. Totally greedy. Oh, no, it's speed. Speed uh, search. Flexible Not says, are you in a special group or can anyone join? No, we're not. We're just in the... Uh, if you load into Horizons, after this we're going to back out um, and probably search for team deathmatch, maybe, or deathmatch. So feel free to get ready to search. All right, here we go. Ka-ching. Nice. Victory. Well, best of three, we took it, Bruce. The dream team. Yep. Can't can't be stopped. Thank you for everyone else that joined, to be fair, as well. Elfena did, did work. Battle fly. Yeah, well, well played to everyone. GG's all around. Right. I backed out. We'll wait a uh, few seconds before we start searching. Right, what are we doing, chat? Team deathmatch or deathmatch? Uh, Flexible Not says, is CQC through Horizons different from launching it from Odyssey? Yes. Um, basically, at the minute, the two games are separate. So if you want to join us today, we're on Horizons CQC. Team deathmatch so far is coming in. It was Malik, yeah. That was fun indeed. Yes, yeah, so 07 Malik, well played. You make it very difficult to, uh, to chase you down. Yeah, the, that flying <laughs> is just next level. Right, let's let's get searching for a team deathmatch then. In uh, three, two, one, I've started my search. Yes, I'm uh, decidedly less confident about the TDM. Mm, likewise. <laughs> likewise. Got quite a lot of different faces, actually, in this one. Got Arty Omska, Matt's Galaxy. We have Indefatigable. In indefatigable. Yeah, we shall gonna... see. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hope I hope they are because uh, they are on our team. True. Aramis says FA off for life. Now I am I am becoming more of an acute FA off pilot, but I'm not sure. Uh... Yeah, so we did a little stream not so long ago, didn't we? We yeah. practiced some FA off um, for essentially the first time. Um, it. I mean, it went. Fairly well, Bruce, I would say, once we got started. I think it went surprisingly well. Yeah. Um, you just so got to get the hang of it. To, yeah, definitely be willing to do some more of that. For sure. All yeah. right. Um, I just instinctively flew to the other end of the map <laughs> through the tunnel. It's like, need to need to focus on other things. I feel like if I switch to um, flight assist off right now, I would be spending too much time thinking about 
keep him, you know, flying than actually hunting somebody down. So oh yeah, it's I, probably I don't not think I'm anywhere no. anywhere near proficient enough <laughs> yet for uh, for CQC FA off. But that's the dream. That's the point that I would like to uh, to get to. I feel like I can never target anyone. Yeah, it's like everyone I aim at constantly has chaff. That's yeah. just how it is. <laughs> oh, nice. Looks like I'm right in the middle of the firing line. <laughs> Everywhere I turn, I just don't see anyone, and I'm just dead. That's how it's going right now. Yeah, I do know I have to practice Aramis, but I don't think a uh, life or death scenario is, is the best place to practice my flight assist off skill. Yeah, I really suffer in, in this mode, for sure. <laughs> I think Arthur is secretly trolling Zach. I don't think Arthur is uh, is a stronger... <laughs> I'm going to be careful Ooh. what I say. <laughs> as soon as you started that sentence, I was... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You said it now, it's, uh, it's recorded. Well, I didn't finish it. Well, yeah, but you may as well have done. <laughs> well, he should, be, he should be on his holiday, so I should get away with yeah, it. Yeah, but the thing is, at least a million people have already <laughs> clipped it and are sending it to him right now on Twitter, <laughs> which is, uh, I think, Captain Beard. <laughs> just that's just what I, you know, coincidentally, that's no, what I think it is. doesn't sound right to me, mate. For anyone interested, something like that. So, uh, yeah, it'd be a real shame <laughs> if that happened. <laughs> Commander Mole Chad, I have you now. You're in my sights. I must say, the rest of the team are doing a great job considering I've contributed nothing so far. Ah, uh, well, I keep getting assists, at least. Yeah, something. <laughs> I feel like that was an assist. Arty Omska keeps getting the kills that I'm uh, I'm almost I'm almost securing, you know. One of them games. Yeah, I think I've um quote unquote shared a lot of effort with Battlefly. <laughs> I mean fair play to them, I think they're playing a lot better than I am, so they probably deserve the kills in each of those cases. Rogas Boss says, I want to watch CQC match from within the bar at a station. Exactly, yeah, we mentioned that earlier. That would be an awesome, an awesome addition. I'd love that. Yeah, definitely. That's a great idea. I 
tell you what, we're against some pretty nifty pilots this round. At yeah, least I'm feeling are. that. I'm I'm just so far behind them. Nice, just picked up a double kill there. Oh wow. Tasty. Tasty. Oh, you want? Oh, some nice chap around me. It looks pretty. I'm about to die. Literally just spawned and uh, been pretty much wiped out. Too busy looking at chat. That's what I'm going to put it down to. Yeah, I do boost pretty much instantly. It's neck and neck, I'll tell you what, 18 to 19. That's impressive considering I don't think I've got a single kill. You do have a kill. Do I? You do. I've been so off the pace. <laughs> Finish me off. Nice, rammed someone to death. Oh, I think they rammed me and they exploded. Nice. But I'm going to take that anyway. Again? Almost getting them. I think I fly too dangerously. I'm constantly having zero pips in shields. Really? Yeah, I'd rather just be flying quickly and that's, shooting hard. You know what? That's not a bad idea, to be fair. I actually quite rarely have pips in systems, but because I rely on chaff. But you know what? I like that. I like that idea. Ah, they got us. They pulled away at the end there and got. I take full more. blame for that one, team. Don't worry. But yeah. It's a good, good effort by everyone. Very well played. Yeah, especially, wow. especially Elfner. Got ten kills. That's massive. Look at that though. I was right. Ten assists. Yeah. So you were decidedly helping out <laughs> for sure. <laughs> right. Very well played, everybody. You can't have the Top Gun OST playing, yeah, unfortunately. That would get us with a healthy DMCA strike, most likely. TQC on mass canyon run races would be really nice. As in, when you say canyon run race but CQC, you mean you would still have to, it'd be like a demolition, like, like wacky races? You'd have to take people out on the way for it? <laughs> or is it just a... a a healthy race. 
I do like the idea of a proper canyon race mode. Yeah. Much like the um, the cow racing we've done with Commander Scorbius in the past, where you're sort of scored based on how close, how, you are. How close yeah. to the ground you are and how quickly, yeah. That's actually... I actually, you know, I had some trepidations about how interesting the cow racing would be. But when you're actually flying around in the in the, uh, the Type 9, and you get you're scooting very close to these these surfaces. It's actually really fun. It is fun. Oh yeah, yeah, it's it's good. It's very good. Shout out to Commander Scorbius for setting that up uh, twice. I think actually. Yes. Once was on the um, was it the anniversary stream or the Christmas stream? Something yeah, like that. Yeah, it was the anniversary stream. That was one that I did. That was quite early on um, in your time at Frontier, that was wasn't my, it, actually? That was my first ever stream. Yeah, by me. I was merely a child. That stream also featured the um, the race put on by uh, Alec Turner with the um, the keelback race. Remember that one around the uh, yes, the station. I do. That I was do. good one. I see someone asking about Twitch drops. Unfortunately, the unfortunately there are none for this stream. We don't have any planned, but as soon as we do, we will let you know. Uh, we know that they're very popular. Bruce, let's say you were in the um, the, gal the the universe of Elite Dangerous. <clears throat> what would you do? What would be your, you know, obviously in the game you can do what you like, but if you were actually physically in this universe, right? What, what would, would you be, be my doing? occupation? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think I would like to be a pilot of some description. Right. Um, so uh, yeah, I think definitely I'd apply for my pilots' federation license. Um, however, I don't think I'd be doing anything too dangerous, right. realistically. I'm not going to be a, a bounty hunter or a pirate or anything like that, as, as cool as it would be, and as much <laughs> as I would like to say that I'm that kind of a guy. Um, in reality, I think I'd be much more concerned about, you know, staying alive. Yeah. Like so, honestly, probably just be a miner and make a lot of money that way. Um, retire early, buy a Mamba, that would be sort of like the midlife oh, crisis. Oh, nice! Ship, yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> By a member at like age forty. Um, yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's good. <laughs> what about you? Well, I'd like to think that I would be an explorer, but I feel like I would probably chicken out once I got like, mm -hmm. you know, like two hundred light years or out of the bubble, and I, I hadn't seen anything. Too. But knowing, knowing like that feeling I get when I see a black hole, even in the game, <laughs> let alone in in person, um, just that stomach dropping feeling, I don't think I could I could handle that. What people in chat saying? Sit at the bar. That's what they would yeah. do. I probably get most of my exploring done by hiring the, uh, you know, the tourist ships like the, right. the, yeah. the Booga Lines, you know, the top the top one percent. That's pretty that would be expensive. Ships. That would be an expensive ride though, you've got to yeah, imagine. It's all, it's all paid for though, isn't it? With uh with low temperature diamonds and uh True. Oil True. Oops, you're right. So. You've made your money. So <laughs> live the easy life after a while. Commander Hoots reckons they would definitely be a bounty hunter. Brave. Play. Just brave. Brave enough.
Does anyone else in chat know what their place would be in the Elite Dangerous universe in real life? Not Let everyone can be. Not everyone can be, uh, you know, a bouncy hunter or a pirate. Some people just want to be a trader. That would work for me as well. I think I would be very, very scared of Fargoids. Like, unbelievably scared. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I would make a point of staying out of the Pleiades. For 100%. sure. Yeah, for sure. I wouldn't be going anywhere near. Unless I had someone like Malik that I was multi-careering with, as like a experience that you could pay for, then maybe, you know. I would Wait, sit in the, you're, the are you liking in a Fargoid to like a safari experience this week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Alright, <laughs> we are getting rinsed here. Yeah, weird. I'm... I, again, I don't think I've done anything. But, uh... Yeah. Interesting to think about. Face trucker. Which superpower do you think you would align with, if any? Um... Alliance, probably. I feel like that probably lines up, because I'm Alliance in the game as well. I feel like you probably okay. line that up right with where you would pick if you were actually there. At least I did. Not necessarily, because I really early on decided that I wanted to fly a cutter, but I don't necessarily right. agree with everything. I, that's, the, that's, the old little, that's the old bait and, bait and switch. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, you've worked this hard, here's your cutter. By the way... <laughs> We're not really that nice. No. You know? But, uh, no going back now. So, I don't know. Um, the Alliance are the most neutral of the three, aren't they? Yeah, so. yeah. Uh, the, the Alliance are the sort, from what from the research that I've done, and chat are probably going to tell me that I'm wrong, the Alliance, at least on the on the out, outwards, seem like they're doing the least harm to people. Um, you know, and I feel like their, um, uh, you know, ethics are more aligned with something that I could actually follow. Hmm. See, Bruce is an Empire man, definitely, says Jibbard81. I'm not sure what Jibbard is missing uh, <laughs> out there, but okay. All right. All right, should we get one more game in, Bruce? Or? Sure. Um, GG Mall Chad and everyone else who was playing. Um, yeah, we, sorry uh, for anyone who's on our team. We got destroyed there because we weren't concentrating perhaps as much as we should have been. <laughs> Malik is making good points about the show uh, anywhere where the Fargoids ever attacked without us doing something to them first. Something to think about. Yes, I know Malik is a strong pro Thargoid sort of proponent. Battleplay Nate makes a good point in the in the old like which which power would you align to wherever they were born wherever they which is true very that true. Is true yeah you'd have to go out your way to really make a, a switcheroo you're right yeah what kind of station would you live at um. I would almost certainly live in uh, one of the fancy Coriolis stations. One of the fancy you ones, know, like the, the, um, the tourism ones. With yeah, the, the tourism ones, the, with, like the white yeah, inside. Super nice. Yeah. If I could afford it, that is. Hmm. That's my, That would be my ideal choice. More likely, I'd end up on like a uh, an asteroid station or something. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder if the asteroid stations would almost be more expensive because... They're a rarity. They're a rarity, and also it can't be cheap to hollow out an asteroid like that and build True. a station inside it. I reckon, True. I reckon only a certain type of person can afford to, uh, or is even allowed to live there. You gotta imagine a lot of the, a lot of the space is, is occupied by, you know, workers. They they probably, probably pretty low. What's the word? Like low quality living, I guess. I, I would I would imagine in an asteroid. Uh, maybe. Like some people's sort of, I don't know, you can't really call them flats. I guess the rooms are just like, uh, you know, a little hovel that's been carved out of a bit of the rock. Yeah. The walls are still a bit cold yeah. and wet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. 
Uh, Axel says, I don't think they're actually watching the YouTube chat. Well, may what you think of that, Axel. I read that directly off YouTube. This might very well be recorded ahead of time, says Commander After Hours. That will be spooky though if we just started talking to you and it was. Yeah, yeah there was a way for us to interact and speak with people who are watching the stream VOD after it's live. That would be great, but also a bit strange. <laughs> By the way, hello, Peter. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> You gotta get. You, there must be like a chance, right? That there's somebody called Peter watching this in a few hours. That's immediately spooked. That's what I'm banking on. Steve says his dream ED job would be a latrine sanitary executive. Fair enough, each to your own. Yeah, I suppose everyone picks their own their own dreams in life. Fair enough. Who are we to to judge? Exactly. Male Chad is being a slippery eel right now. He's ah, oh, I think I think they've shaken me. No, <laughs> come back. Target missing. Yeah, I know they are. <laughs> Curse you, Red Baron. They actually got away. It happens, mate. I think, like I said, I've not scored a single. Well, I've got maybe two kills since we started in. Uh, in that match. Right, I am returning from mail. Sorry, mail. Mall Chad. Nine Inc says which moderators and community managers are in which streams, though? Um, it just fluctuates, really. Um, it tends to be different people on every every stream, and who's available, who's not available, etc. Yeah, absolutely. We don't assign anyone um, in that sense. It's um, whoever is available and, and willing to, to help out at a given time on a given platform. Um, they do. I know some mods have uh, certain preferences, but uh, to my knowledge, we don't mandate that in any way. No. Again! At Fenner, stealing my kills. That'd be what. Right, I feel like I've been letting the side down for quite a while now. I'm gonna. I mean, don't worry about that. <laughs> you can't be doing much worse <laughs> than me. I feel like my weapons just aren't aren't doing anything anymore. I'm gonna blame. My, I'm gonna my blame weapons the, the ship. aren't strong enough. My ship <laughs> is too easily blown up. It's not fast. I can't turn. <sighs> it's all just rigged, isn't it? It's is rigged. Such a such a rigged game mode. I can never catch up to you. I'm so I'm so bad at, compared to other pilots in these small ships. My ship's slower than everyone else's. 
<laughs> I think this answers the question quite definitively. Um, are we as good at TDM? Uh, it does even sure at answer TDM that question. We are at uh, <laughs> CTF. We need objective based. We we're, we're objective focused, Bruce. That's what it is. Give us a goal. We'll achieve it, mate. Yeah, we need directives. I guess, yeah, my goal is not to die. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I suppose if you could do those two things, like yeah. not die and blow up the other ships, you're most of the way there. Bouncing off these asteroids like a ping pong ball. That's no good. I think 100 Fathoms has been uh, sarcastic saying I'm flying really well. Not looking good. They only need to. Yeah, there it is. I think that was a final defeat as well. All right, all right. Well played. Well played. Wow, that's zero. A strong zero on that final showing. Yeah, well played to Battlefly, who scored ten kills to zero deaths. That's wow. uh, <laughs> very strong. How have you got zero deaths in around the CQC? That is impressive. It's, uh, it's a pretty strong KDA from them. Small chat as well, well played, as well as Elfner and CSN. Thank you all for playing. Indeed. All right, let's move back to the screen with just myself and Bruce on. So, yeah, uh, thank you, everybody, for, for joining us on us. you know, quite casual, chilled out CQC night. Me and Bruce like to do these every now and again. Hope you had a, hope you had a nice time. Hope you had a nice day. Uh, anything, Bruce, you want to sign off with on tonight's stream? Um... Not really, other than to say thank you for everyone who played and watched. Um, it was a pleasure as always. And thank you, Zach, for uh, having me on. It's always um, a pleasure, mate. I'd like to take this chance to point people again to the Azimuth Saga post that's um, pinned in the new section of the forums. It will catch you up on all of the events in that um, arc. So, yeah, I'd recommend people at least scan through it and um, get up to date on that stuff because uh, there'll be more coming. Yep. Okay, then. So... We'll find somebody to raid, so make sure to stick around uh, once we once we go to our uh, thanks for watching screen. But yeah, we'll be back on Tuesday with Super Cruise News most likely. So until then, commanders, 07. 07, everyone. Bye bye.